Hi guys, this is T from Betty and Brenda. And thank you so much for joining me for another video. If you are a subscriber, welcome back. If you're new here, go ahead and click that subscribe button so you can see me make bath and body products on a weekly basis. Today, I am making another soap. And last week I said I was thinking about making a series of soaps of candies, but instead I decided to name this series Happy, you know, like joy. Um, using bright colors and beautiful designs and a little candy sprinkled on the top, flowers, anything that's kind of bright and that can bring your smile to your day. With so much going on in the world, we can all use a little bit of joy. And I know once um, or a few months after my mom passed and I started watching videos of people making soap, it just did something to me. It was almost cathartic. It brought me so much joy. So hopefully you guys watching, you get that same feeling and looking at people turn soap into art um, with beautiful bars will bring you a little bit of joy as well. So today I am making a soap. It's going to be just a regular base soap color, but I'm also going to drop in some purple, pink, and green. For the purple, I am using New Tone Purple Mica. For the pink, I am using Neon Pink Hot Pants. And for the green, I am using New Tone Green Mica. All of those are pretty bright colors and I'm hoping that it will maintain some of its brightness once I put it in the soap. So my plan is to put in the soap base, drop those colors in, do a little bit of a hanger swirl, and then uh, put a little more of the base in, kind of string those colors on the top. And then I am going to do some soap frosting with a layer of just the base color soap, or, or two layers of that. And then on the very top of that, I'm gonna dollop in some of the pink and put little drops of purple on the side for the piping. So um, that's how I have it planned out in my head. We'll see how it goes. Sometimes I will change my mind depending on what that's looking like. For the fragrance, I am going to use Breezes in Sunshine from Nature's Garden. And I forgot to mention that for the colors, um, I get the Crafter's Choice products from Wholesale Supplies Plus. But this fragrance, it, it's, it's very, uh, it's summery to me. It, it's bright, it, it goes, right in line with the series of soaps for happy because it just brings you a certain amount of happiness when you smell it. And this bowl, I have my mango butter, I have shea butter, cocoa butter, and coconut oil. And in this one, I have my castor oil, almond oil, as well as some olive oil. And I put in some kale and clay as well as some coconut milk powder. This recipe, um, it's normally my slower moving recipe, but it does react differently based on the fragrance that I use. The fragrance did say no acceleration, no rising, um, none of that is supposed to occur as well as no discoloration. But sometimes, depending on what you use, I have found them to act just a little bit differently. Uh, the percentages that they use to test them is not always the percentages that you use for your soap. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and get started. I already have my gloves on. I'm going to grab my glasses and my mask. And just in case you're new to soaping, always make sure you have on a long sleeve shirt and some closed toed shoes and long pants, just in case the soap batter does splash and drop on you. The lye that you place into the soap doesn't quite settle down and is no longer able to burn you until about after 24 hours. So make sure you have yourself covered and you won't get any burns that way. So let's make some soap. <laughs>
these are the last two bars that I have here and I love it I might like, it's so pretty definitely force gel um, when you can especially when you have vibrant colors it just keeps them looking really nice and crisp and here is my last piece I'm gonna try to shave just a little bit off if I can uh, it's not much to go there okay so we'll just leave that as it is um, that is the very last piece of this soap doesn't have much pink on the top but that's okay so here we go look at that now one thing I will say I wish that I'd had um, or use more green because I can see the purple and the pink is coming out so pretty now this one does have a little more green than some of the other ones but um, let me see if I can find one that has a good amount of green in it plus one okay here we go like this one all of the colors are represented the green though is a little bit more muted than I'd hoped um, meaning it's not as vibrant and doesn't stand out as much but still very pretty in there so I would use a brighter green and I would use more but let's get a close-up here is the soap and I love it and the, the fragrance though oh my goodness it, it does it, it, it gives me exactly what I wanted something very happy, something very summery and springy that would just kind of pep you up a bit. You absolutely have to um, get one of these bars. And you definitely, if you're a soap maker, you definitely need to get this particular fragrance. It is absolutely divine. So that is it for me today. Um, I'm gonna continue this line of making some soaps that just kind of brightens the mood that just kind of you know lifts you and I know that's kind of crazy when you think about that in the soap but what I mean by that are that the color sometimes you can look at something and just the brightness of it will just kind of boost your day that is what I want these soaps to do and the smells just sort of um, they, they sort of wake you up and just kind of make you feel good so these soaps um, are definitely doing that at least for me I hope you've enjoyed this video if you did please give the video a thumbs up and comment on the section below what you think about these colors together I, I personally have always loved uh, purple and green together but throwing that pink in there the three colors together are just beautiful to me but I do wish that I'd had more green or maybe even if I put like a really bright yellow in there that would have added a little something extra to the soap as well so um if you don't already follow me on social media on instagram and facebook at betty and brenda don't forget to subscribe to my channel i do a lot of soap videos but i also do um some other videos as well in fact i believe after i finish this series i'm going to show you how to make a liquid soap the long process of making it in the uh, crock pot but all of the oils and the benefits of that soap they feel so good on your body when you use them and i also pep mine up at the end and make them a little creamy so definitely subscribe and keep watching i'm gonna pull that or, or film that video and show you guys how i do that as well so subscribe to the channel click the notification bell so you'll know every time i release a video and go out to bettyandbrenda.com and look at all of the goodies I have out there. My soaps, my bath bombs. There are so many different things. Body scrubs, lip scrubs. Definitely take a peek. And uh, yeah, that's it for me today. And I will chat with you guys later. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Bye. Oh, don't forget, stay tuned for pictures at the end. Okay, see you later. Bye.